Today, I'm going to share with you a very powerful teaching. Sometimes uh, you realize that you have friends, a lot of friends, or few friends. And you feel these friends are very close to you, they are very good to you. But let me shock you with this. There are a lot of friends that are very close to you, very good to you, and still they are your enemies. In fact, they could even be your number one enemies. They are just like, um, some of them are like, they are helping you and killing you. But you may not know it. So I'm going to teach you this very spiritual secret that you are going to do to expose some of your friends, some, of people, some people you think that are good friends to you. Some people you think are good friends to you. I'm going to teach you this very spiritual secret that will expose this unfriendly friend. We call them unfriendly friend. They are friendly to you, but they are unfriendly. They are like friends like enemies. They are friends and they are enemies at, the, at, the night, at night. So this spiritual secret I'm going to teach you, just watch this video from the beginning to the end so you understand all the explanation, all the teaching. You will miss, don't skip any part of this video. Also share this video to your friends, share it to your loved ones. So what you need in this teaching is garlic. You need garlic. Get quantity of garlic, crush the garlic or pound the garlic. You can crush the garlic or pound the garlic. So when it's 12 a.m. midnight, the crushed garlic or the pound garlic, you get, you pack them together, put it in a bucket of water, your beating bucket, and add water, add your beating water, then add sea salt to it by 12 a.m. So after adding the crushed garlic, you can either crush it, grind it, or pound it. The way it is easier for you. But all you need to do is to make it, just make sure you crush it. You can grind it, you can pound it. So anyhow, you're going to crush it. But make sure you crush it to a grind state. So after doing that, put it in a bucket of water. Add your beating water in a bucket of beating water. Then add your water. So after adding your water, your beating water and that is enough for you to take your bath add sea salt to it add your sea salt to it then make your declaration now let me explain declaration is very important in doing any spiritual work because there is power in your tongue there is power in your tongue there is power in your mouth declaration is very important in any spiritual work you are doing don't just do any spiritual work casually or make sure you do declaration along with it Whenever you are doing, take, carrying out any spiritual work, make your declaration. So make your declaration that the universe should expose all your all your friends that are that you think they are that are your enemies. You should expose all your friends. They should show their real self. If they are good friends to you, they should show their real self. If they are bad friends to you, they should they should also also show their real self. The universe should expose all your enemies. That God should expose all your enemies, wherever they are, all your unfriendly friend, or all those en all those friends, all those enemies that, that look like friends to you. Though God should expose all of them. Make your declaration. And also make your declaration that whatsoever forces that is, that is coming to manipulate your financial life, your financial resources, whatsoever enemies that is coming to, to, to manipulate your financial life, that that the, every power, that power should be cancelled out of your life. Every power, every force that is coming to manipulate your financial life. Because this beating is two in one. You are praying to, for God to expose your enemy. You are also praying for, for, for your financial life to be stable. That's two in one. That whatsoever, that whatsoever power that is coming to manipulate your financial life, it should be this, that power should be eradicated, should be taken away from your life. So, you make that your declaration. After making all those declarations, take the bucket of the water, the bathing water, go and take your bath. When you are taking your bath, please don't use sponge, don't use soap. Take your bath without soap, without sponge. And mind you, don't wear your slippers when you're doing your any spiritual bath. Don't wear your slippers, your bathing slippers, your bathing slippers. Don't use soap, don't use sponge on this. Don't, on this spiritual bath, don't use sponge, don't use, sponge, don't use soap. So just bathe the water with the water ordinary like that. So after bathing, don't clean your body with towel. 
please don't rub your body, don't clean your body with oil, let your body dry, then you go back to your sleep, go and rest for the day. You do this for three days. After three days, you begin to see some, some movements of people you think that they, are, that, they are, that they are your friends. You begin to see their movements. You begin to see signs. You begin to see some certain things. Nobody will tell you. This thing will be revealed to you. Either in your dream or physically. Things will happen. Sometimes the confusion will come in their camp. We have information that you've never heard before from other people. They will tell you that this person that is very close to you, this person, this is the person that this who he is, this who he is. Information will come to you. Things will come to you. You, you can even get revelation from, from, from dreams and all that. But definitely, they will be exposed. Do this for three days, three nights. Don't skip any day. Do this con consecutively for three nights. You do it first night, second night, and the third night. So don't skip any days. So make sure you do your declaration on it. Remember, you get your garlic. Crush your garlic. You can grind it. You can pound it. Crush it. Put it in your bathing water. By 12, 12 a.m. in midnight, put it in your bathing water. After putting your bathing water, add sea salt. Put the quantity of water that is enough for you to take your bath. Then go to your, carry it to your bedroom. Take your bath with it. Don't use sponge. Don't use soap. Don't use sponge, don't use soap, and don't wear slippers with bedroom slippers when you're taking your spiritual bath. So thanks for watching today's video. I know this video is going to be a blessing to you. It's going to be a blessing to someone. Please do share this video to your friends, share to your family. Hope to see you in the next video. Remain blessed.